Wall Street once again on Friday by putting in his annual letter that he was accepting applications for Berkshire Hathaway Bayer to debate a live on stage at the Oracle's annual meeting in May. Now, the solicitation quickly became the talk of Wall Street, and this morning, Warren picked his bear. Well, I just thought it'd make it more interesting. Uh, you know, the crowd can hear somebody that uh, thinks the stock's overpriced or that, that sold a house of cards or whatever it may be. And, uh, uh, it, it, we want the we want the meeting to be interesting. So that person will get six questions, and and we now have that person because I, I said it had to be a credential bear, preferably one who was short the stock. And uh, Doug Cass is certainly a credentialed investor, and he says he's short the stock, and he'd like to do it. So Doug, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> on the fast line now is the Berkshire Bear himself, Doug Cass. So, Doug, how did this all come about? Are you up for the challenge here? I sure am. <laughs> I feel like I've gone full circle. Um, in, in August of 1969, I attended Woodstock the Music Festival in Woodstock, New York, and now, 44 years later, in May of 2013, I'm going to the Woodstock of Capitalism in Omaha. It's really cool, and I'm, I'm anxiously looking forward to to Charlie Munger to call me a damn fool. <laughs> now, now, what did um, what do you think really caught Warren's eye in terms of your out? I mean, I don't want to say application, but you did put in some sort of an application to Warren to let him know that you were interested in this. Well, um, I asked uh, Andrew Ross Arkin and Becky Quick and Whitney Tilson um, to submit an email I sent to Mr. Buffett. I included in the email my CV and the column I wrote back in March of 2008 where I explained the rationale behind why I was short back then before the financial crisis almost five years ago and it turned out to be a successful short and surprisingly for the right reasons. I also included four references um, of uh, hedge fund managers and investment managers that I knew were, were close acquaintances of Mr. Buffett and who were willing to uh, give me a nice reference. Uh, Doug, it's Karen. Let me ask you something. Where in your in your list of uh, of, of uh, bullets for the bear case, where would Warren's death be uh, for a, a catalyst for the event? Not that anyone wishes that, but it is certainly he's an asset there. No, I mean that was my actually the um, as I recall, I'm looking at it right now. Uh, and my first bullet point was entitled "There Will Never Be Another uh, uh, Warren Buffett," and I expressed. Uh, uh, the facts, what the actual early table is, and the actual tariff table is today that he has four to five years uh, of uh, life expectancy. We share something in common. He has prostate cancer, not just had pro prostate cancer surgery, as you know. Hey, Dougie, embedded in this, I think, is your macro view that the market might be heading lower, but let's just assume a benign market. I think Berkshire, the A shares, traded at an all time high today. What's the right price for the stock in your estimation? Well, I appreciate the question, my friend, but uh, I'm not going to spill the beans, and I didn't, don't really take, want to take away from the questions um, at the annual meeting. Um, I would just say this one thing, that mm -hmm. his, his willingness to take on a bear as a panelist um, at the annual meeting and to ask what I believe are to be tough questions is really testimony uh, to his uniqueness, his transparency. He could respond almost any other corporate manager that I've ever met or, or known about who typically lock bearish analysts and their analysis and opinion in the closet away from investors who sometimes get a bit too giddy and bullish. Right. And uh, look, he's, he's 82 years old. He loves a good battle. Getting back to what Mel said in the beginning, I'm up to the challenge. All right, Doug. Uh, good luck with that. I'm sure we'll speak to you before. Thank you. Then. I think I'll need it. <laughs> we'll see if he can drive the stock down, what, 10% or so. That's what Mr. Buffett said. Let's see if he can drive the stock lower. We shall see. Coming up next, NBC's Jane Wells with some interesting developments in